10 Best Places to Visit in Mallorca Sitting in the Mediterranean enclosed by bright blue waters and beautiful beaches, Mallorca is a small slice of paradise. This Spanish island perfectly treats you to some delectable food, exquisite wine, and intriguing culture. While numerous people head to Mallorca for the beautiful beaches, there are many other places to experience. In today's video, we will take a look at the best places to visit in Mallorca. Welcome and let's get started. 10. Palma de Mallorca Is referred to casually as Palma, it is the capital city of the island and also one of the known places to visit in Mallorca. The airport that services Mallorca is less than 8 miles from the town, so this is the first stop most visitors make. Palma de Mallorca is lively with great culture, music, food, and drinks, and visitors can also experience the castle, cathedral, beach, and picturesque old town. Ensure you take a trip through the pine forest to Belver Castle, experience San Juan Mercado Gastronomico, wander through the quaint streets of Palma's old town, take a trip to Palma's Cathedral Lasso, walk along the seafront to Portixol, experience the tapas trail of Palma's Ruta Matina, and make sure you taste delicious meals like gazpacho, frito malarquin, and snails before leaving Palma de Mallorca. 9. Salar Salar is the 10th largest city in Mallorca in terms of population. It sits some kilometers inland on the northwest side of the island. Solar is surrounded by great mountains and perfectly sits down in a valley. Take the scenic tram, book a boat trip, go stand up paddle boarding, go scuba diving, and hiking. If you have enough time, visit nearby Valdemosa and Diaya. There are many restaurants in Solar and Porta Solar to choose from. For great and quality meals, make sure you visit restaurants like Casa Alvaro, Nautilus, and Randomar. If you have enough time, visit the close-by village of Fornalox. Calatuant is also a lovely spot close by. The harbor of Port de Solar, Solar, has a cosmopolitan feeling and boasts many sand beaches, a beachfront promenade, and many cafes. 8. Alcudia Sitting on its small peninsula in the north of the island, Alcudia has housed numerous people since the Bronze Age. Begin your trip at the striking walled gate, stroll through the old town, and view the ancient Roman city. Soak up the atmosphere on market day, relax at the beach, share a Michelin star meal, cycle to a nature reserve, cool off in Alcudia Hydro Park, and if you have enough time, visit a local brewery. Beer Lovers Mallorca is a microbrewery that is found in Alcudia's historic center, and on Fridays and Saturdays, visitors get the chance to sample five different types of beers. You can also visit any of the restaurant for meals like Sobrasada, Tumbet, and Coca Malarquina. 7. Valdemosa Idyllic, picturesque, quaint. These are the cliché words you would use to describe the village nestled into Majorca's green mountains. Grab breakfast from Pasta Siria Camelinas, experience the Frederick Chopin and George Sands Museum, take a trip to Carthusian Valdemosa Monastery, take in the views at Miranda de Sladoner's viewpoint, visit Casa Natal de Santa Catalina Thomas, and ensure you dine at Estaler Valdemosa. Don't leave Valdemosa without tasting Coca Malarquina or Sopas Malarquinas. Royal Chatterhouse of Valdemosa is undoubtedly the most vital and representative monument of the town, and its history is closely related to the history of Mallorca and Valdemosa in particular. Visitors are also allowed to visit King Sancho Palace. To access it, you will have to travel to the Plaza de la Cartouche, although if you want to admire its facade, you must do so from the Plaza Rubendario. You can end your trip by taking a visit to end your trip by having an excursion to the Sespuntes viewpoint or stop at the gardens of King Juan Carlos. 6. Cala Dior Cala Dior is a little village in southern Mallorca, which is transformed into a busy resort center. There are lots of sandy beaches that are speckled along the coastline of the beautiful town. The majority of the beaches are in well-protective coves, making them suitable for families with younger kids or less capable swimmers. Cala Dior is considered by people to be one of the best towns in Mallorca. Every visitor will discover something to suit their interests. Whether you intend to spend a week sailing out at sea or sipping cocktails in a sun lounger, Cala Dior will hook you up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. 5. Cap de Fermentor If you're searching for epic scenery, Cap de Fermentor is the perfect place to discover it. This peninsula is found in the northernmost on the island of Mallorca, and the trip to get there is as awesome as the destination itself. Experience Mirador del Mapas on your trip to the tip of the peninsula. 
There is a lot to experience and photograph along the coastline and mountains, and if you're looking for a comfortable, away-from-it-all stay, this is the perfect place to be. 4. Diaya Diaya is suitable for the eccentric and artistic types. As an artist's colony, there is a lot of history throughout the 20th century of this mountain village. Visit Belmont La Residencia Hotel. It is a comfortable place for you to relax and have some coffee while witnessing the awesome views of the area. There is also private parking available. Princess Diana and Robbie Williams were once guests at this beautiful hotel. Here in Diaya, ensure to check out the home of Robert Graves. He is an English novelist and poet who is one of the first artists to make Diaya their home. 3. Palenka On the road between Cap de Formentor and Alcudia, you will find Palenka. The awesome thing about this small town is that it is home to many locals. Experience the church of Nostra Senora dels Angels. This little intimate church awaits you at the peak of the 365 Calvary Steps. Visit at midday so you can enjoy the light spilling through the stained glass windows. Just a little ride away from the beautiful Fermentor Lighthouse, which sits perched at the tip of the peninsula. If you are searching for a great sea view, then this should not be missed. Be ready for the windy roads though, and ensure you stop for a coffee break. Ensure you spend your time having a taste of wine at Convidolet Vineyard just outside of town. Tourists can also spend their time shopping at any of the local boutiques, golfing at either of the two golf courses nearby, and dining at quality restaurants. 2. Magaluf Magaluf is the playground for many European visitors. Found in southwest Mallorca, visitors get to experience a white sand beach that draws families as well as youths who often indulge in binge drinking because of low booze prices. Visit in July or August as most hotels close during the winter months. Because the resort is very popular, beaches can be overcrowded but possibly worth it for the tan you'll get. Spend the day at Nikki Beach. Eat al fresco at Magaluf Restaurant, attend Mallorca Live, watch the Pirates Adventure, and ensure you have fun at Kamandu Park. 1. Cala Figura Cala Figura is one of the working class areas that is found on the island. It is historically used as a fishing port, and visitors come here for fresh seafood, among many other things. The harbor is a great place to hang out and observe the process. However, this isn't the place to be if you want to swim. If diving is something that you like, Cala Figura has a good diving school that will get you into the depths of the amazing, clear blue Mediterranean waters. Don't leave Cala Figura without tasting Ensamada. It is an incredibly light and flaky pastry, more like a croissant that gains its awesome texture from lard. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. We expect to see your views in the comment section. Bye and see you again.